means uh, say it cannot be popularized in s uh, unless we explain this the basic of this in this materialist world at least that the base the uh, fundamentals of self and this that not even in the materialist world even this the whole body even this moving body is is not nothing but this material it's also their their approach is materialistic it's also like a material to them it's not a, they don't believe in self or some consciousness <coughs> So what about this? That that, that that those fundamental principles like uh, this sa yoga, yoga. So how to be how to uh, deal with th these things? Whether the person person knows the science or not, medicine will act on him. If the person is enlightened, it will be all the more easy to act. That's all. The person who is uh, coming for treatment, he need not be well versed in Ayurveda. I am telling you, these are principles of Ayurveda and concepts of Ayurveda far superior to modern, modern because it is ever changing. Something is changing always, it cannot be a truth. Yesterday we believed that this medicine is so powerful. This later it is proved that it is not. The claim was untrue. That is why it is being discarded. So now antibiotics are, this is fourth generation antibiotics are available now. The third generation is discarded. So it is always evolving. That's why they say modern science say this will hold good till another one comes. That's uh, Dr. Chatterjee said. Repeatability has completely gone. Where to repeat? This is not there. If I give a prescription in the market, that medicine is not available. So is it this, this uh, process of self-healing uh, sometimes as a thing known, known to only yogis, ancient yogis, and ancient yogis? Any yogis any any treatment is basically self-healing. Anything is a placebo basically. Anything is a placebo. A, a person is reluctant to accept something, whatever way you try, it will be ineffective. That submission of the patient, that belief and faith in between the doctor and the patient, any treatment will be a failure. That is a very important aspect. So, So basic thing, basic cause, when you cough out phlegm, that is basically protein, it is a mucoprotein. protein. Whatever you cough out, you are losing protein, that will weaken you. It is not a waste, because of the metabolic, pro something wrong in the metabolic process, that mucus is being produced, it, it, it prevents breathing. Basically alveoli is lined by mucous membrane and mucus is being produced for lubrication. That is produced in excess because of irritant, irritation of external causes like dust or some pollen, whatever it be. And the inter inner mechanism to protect that fails. So excessive secretion. <coughs> excessive secretion is because of the irritant, ac action of irritant on the alveoli or respiratory system. So the protein metabolism is to be modified. For that, one thing is reduce the protein intake. That is why Kapavartham we say already it is secreting more protein. If you take more protein again, the result will be it will get aggravated. So reduce the protein and the energy requirement must be supplied with carbohydrate only. Then half the symptom will disappear. And while going to bed, you must be empty stomach. If we take full stomach food, that will not be absorbed properly. There also mucus will cover that. Mucus will be, there will be compulsion for the system to produce more mucus. There also, same thing, that will affect the entire system, not only stomach. If you take something in the stomach, it is not confined in the stomach, the entire mucous membrane of all the parts of the body will secrete more. It is not uh, only the oral cavity or the stomach, <coughs> no. The respiratory system and wherever mucous membrane is there, everywhere mucus will be produced. It is a mucus, 
stimulant. That's why fasting is very good for asthma. And this protein you mentioned includes the vegetable proteins? Yes, all proteins. Like all proteins. Yes. Those also should be reduced. Reduced. Even milk, uh, milk is also? Milk also it will reduce. When kapha is so much. Okay. Otherwise, milk is to be modified with some venjana for a shundi. If you add a little dry ginger in the milk, that will remove that property. It will be metabolized in a better way and amino acids will be produced. It will go, go to different uh, target organs. So that way we can modify anything. Some uh, harm is there. We can modify with addition of something. That is why medicines are being prepared. So Ayurvedic concept basically ind indicate three things as causative factor for all diseases. That is unique approach of Ayurveda. The most important one is Asatmya Indriya Artha Samyoga. Asatmya Indriya Artha Samyoga. Asatmya means unequal, undesirable <coughs> combination of sense organs and sensory objects. We have got five senses for receiving Shabda, Sparsha, Rasa, Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha. These are the five sensory objects we receive. All these things will act as a pathogenic factor if it is disproportionate. For example, vision. If now people are more exposed to or watching TV or uh, is computer, you say it is not natural. We are not supposed to sit for a long time. It is not our, uh, it is not conducive for health because our predecessors are monkeys. Always moving about is our basic nature. When that is, we go against that, it will be pathogenic. It is always exposed to different colors. Colors will attract the vision and the sense, the uh, in, 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 stimulus will reach the retina continuously for a long time. It is pathogenic. Then reading too much is also pathogenic. Reading in, in a sitting posture always it is, not, it is pathogenic. If anything in excess is bad. Anything in excess, then everything should be moderate. That is what yuktahare viharabhya. Yuktam, it must be moderate. Yuktam means moderate. That moderation is uh, violated, crossed, anything will be bad. That is very important. When a person uh, sitting um, hours together for reading, unfortunately, if you are uh, supposed to grasp facts, we cannot sit, the person will become sleepy. For, a chem for example, he, however interested a person in physics or chemistry, where facts are to be absorbed, if you read for Five or six hours, more than eight hours, nobody can do that. However genius he is, the brain will compel to <coughs> withdraw and he will go to sleep. After the replenishing the uh, transmission materials in the brain, then only he can read. Whereas this light reading for entertainment, this, this is not there. This is like seeing the TV visualization and you will continue like that. There this will, look, this will happen. A science student who is there anybody who can sit for more than eight hours and continuously read? If however intelligent a person is, we cannot grasp more than thirty facts related or unrelated from reading in eight hours eight hours. Is there any person who can do more than that? At the most eight thirty. Otherwise, you, you may read, brain will not register. That's why vidya dhanani ja shanaihi shanaihi. Everything is to be learned and earned slowly. Anything come in a, as a bout, it will not stick onto the mind. Understand? So, every day you learn a little by little, that will become the part of your understanding. That's why most of the lessons prepare for the examination. <laughs> After the examination, if you ask, nobody will answer properly. It is gone from the mind. 
സി ഇൻ മലയാളം സ്വാമി കേരള വെരി ഫേമസ് സ്വാമിജി വാസ് യു മേ ബി നോ യു നാരായണ ഗുരു പ്രസൻറ്റ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് പുട്ടുകുറ്റി യു ഹാവ് നോ ഐ ഹാവ് സീൻ പുട്ട് കേരള വി പ്രിപ്പയർ ഫ്രം റൈസ് ഫ്ലവർ ആൻഡ് കോക്കനട്ട് ഇൻ എ ബാംബു ട്യൂബ് വി പുട്ട് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ബീ സ്റ്റീംഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഫുൾ കുക്ക് വി യൂസ് എ റോഡ് ആൻഡ് പുഷ് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ആൻഡ് ദ വിറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ലൈക്ക് എ റോഡ് he compared the present education with that we all fill the brain with all these things in the examination we just push it out with an empty thing we come back actually what is happening like that nothing will be retain the mind it is only purpose is to write the examination get through i i have seen <laughs> my grandson she asked how far what did you write next no I don't trouble me <laughs> this is over just <laughs> no no what is always asking these things this is a trouble for that is why the present day vidya is not actually according to indian culture ya vidya sa vimuchade that which liberates you is vidya you please think is any vidya is it liberating you you are becoming more and more bonded is it not it is vidya gives bondage whereas vidya according to our upanishad and culture it liberates man if a boy studying in fourth class mother will ask him go purchase some salt from the market he will go when he is reaches eighth standard mother will be afraid to say him <laughs> that is way he go to phd finished See, his domain is totally different insulated this is a fact he is a phd student <laughs> i have to worship him this is the vidya present this is vidya, this is not vidya at all it is avidya Dr. Rao may be <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the thing. What we want to do is make sure at least Vidya and Avidya together. Otherwise, we will be, we, will, we cannot succeed. That, that most of the, uh, the great <laughs> academicians, they pass in the examinations very well. They miserably fail in life. i have seen once i have seen one person i was traveling from kottayam uh, to trivandrum one family i happened very very great rush was there i had to take first class ticket and enter in one cupa one family three children father and mother all were wearing, wearing high myopic glass or like that like owls <laughs> each one was having packet of food i just entered they were not interacting at all everybody is having in one book and looking like this <laughs> when they reached koilon everybody just opened the food they did not interact at all they ate again started reading they went to one they went away. i do not what what happened this is the way everybody is convened in, in his own personality they never interact the interaction is the most important way which we refine ourselves that is not there we are in we are going in a negative direction so all these things the macaulay education has got its own uh, drawbacks unless we rectify we will fail to become become a nation our culture and heritage are to be protected and we must be proud of our heritage and culture how many are proud how many are proud about our mother tongue all are interested in talking in english if when we send the child for a kindergarten school we say we judge the efficacy of the school the child should start speaking english within one week english for any english is just like any other language tamil bengali hindi sanskrit sanskrit perhaps the 